What is up guys, Wu here back again with another Division 2 video. Welcome back guys, it's Wu the community. We're back with another video and today's video and the topic I want to discuss today, one is the future of the game. Really guys, I mean we've had this little bit of um, this bombshell in terms of yeah we're going to give you new content 2021, 2022, what's it going to be and I want to talk about that in this video and just talk about a few of the ideas that I have and some of the concepts that you've brought forward to me and of course you may have noticed there has been a slight colour change and that is the painters and decorators have been in and give me a nice new lick of paint which we'll talk about right about now. But of course, if you enjoy the content, you enjoy the video, thumbs doodle, it helps me and the channel. And of course, guys, yes, of course, if you are new to the channel, drop the woo bomb on the sub button, ding the bell to be notified when I upload my shizzle. Guys, let's woo this. Guys, we the community, let's get this ironed out straight away. This is a weekly show where we sit back and we talk about the game, the content, your opinions, and again... I'm going to try and reach out and try and get as much information from you as possible so we can just spread the love across the community. But before we do that, let's talk about colour scheme. Painters and decorators. Okay, anyone that's been here a long time has known me going through several transitions as a content creator. Trying to find the right semblance of balance that would not only help me, but help the channel be elevated to another level. And that's ultimately what I want because I have a huge passion for creating content. And again, that resonates through the community who want to see more videos and want to see more regular content, and I intend to do so. But there's a few things, a few aesthetics that really needed looking at. And I, I sat back and I have for the last 12 months now wondering, what can we do with the channel to kind of elevate it to, again, the 20K, the 30K, the 40K, and so on and so on? What do I need to do? What can I pinpoint that can improve my visibility for YouTube? And, of course, the content. Where do I need to, again, garner as, as much energy and passion as possible? And, again, feedback has always been key. So the first thing for me was the name. Now let's take a look at the name. Clint Flair Woo was the name I chose initially. That was my Xbox gamer tag. I went through that transition, so I quickly changed that. I decided, yeah, enough's enough. Clint Flair Woo, I get it. Nobody calls me Clint, to be fair, and nobody calls me Flair. So it was primarily Woo. That's kind of the name that stuck since the beginning. So I decided to change it. And again, not just centered around one game being the Division 2, the Division 1, or potentially the Division 3. I wanted a universal name that will stick and is very easy to roll off the tongue, and that is Woo Plays. Simple. That is my Twitch name, my Facebook name, and of course my now YouTube name. And it, I like it, I do. You may not, I don't know, but I like it. And I think it's an improvement from where I was at before. So I'm happy with that, and that's what I decided to do over the course of the last 12 months, is go through the name change. The other thing of note, the massive, massive thing you may have noticed, the painters and decorators have been in and they have painted the walls. They've painted over the pink and chosen blue. Why? Okay, let me just break it down exactly why I've changed colours. Now, once I first started YouTube, I needed a branding, I needed a colour. And I went completely left field. I thought, screw this, I'm going to go for something that, again, sticks out like a sore thumb. And you cannot miss my content. You cannot miss my thumbnails because they will be pink. So I opted for pink. Yes, crazy. I went for it. And LDB, being the main man that he is, created an awesome logo for me, the CFW one. If you recollect that, that's the one that he created. And that's the one I stuck with for a good period of time. It has served me so well. However, there's lots of feedback, minimal feedback at times, but... At the end of the day, it does matter. It's that the colour schemes. It does not go. It's not It's not powerful enough. What YouTuber can you think of that produces my kind of content, similar kind of content that has a pink logo? Nobody. I'd be the first. And I thought that's a challenge to keep on. But I quickly realised that's true. The pink does not resonate with a mass audience. It does not. So I decided to change to blue. Guys, yes, blue. Blue for Wu, you know how it goes. I decided to go down that colour because, again, it is simple, it is dominant, and, again, you cannot go wrong with blue. And in that, with that being said, you, you, the logo's on screen now, that's what I've opted to go for. I want to keep the knight, I want to keep the gun, I want to keep the Wu plays, 
and that's going to stick with me throughout my YouTube content creation career is that it's going to be the Blue Knight with that hint of grey on, on there as well. I had to do it, guys. I had to. So that's why I have stuck with the Knight and the Blue. And I think it looks absolutely badass. It look, it, I think it looks great. And yeah, it's took me a long time to get here, but there you go. And with that being said, there's a few things that, again, will back these claims up. For example, we've just hit 11K, which is a monumental feat. It is a massive, massive feat. And I can't thank the, the guys in the communities enough for the support, watching the content, and so on, so on. Now, since this change from pink to blue, this is what's happened. The impressions of videos have gone up 30%, which is a really, really good amount. I'm happy with that. The views have gone up by 26.6K. 26.6K, that's 28%. That's amazing. That's a great uplift. And that just shows that the color does make a difference. It really, really does. And that's what I'm all about is ensuring that one, my channel has ultimate visibility and not to mention people tune in and watch the content because it makes an absolute huge difference to me and keeps driving me to produce more and more content. So that's why there has been a change in color. It won't change again. Blue's here to stay and Woo Plays is also here to stay. But that's I just wanted again to clarify that to my community why the changes have happened. Let's move on. Guys, let's talk about the game. Now, I put up a little poll this morning. It's just fairly simple. What do you think lies ahead for the future of The Division 2? Now, I ask the question. Seasons, expansion, return of survival, a New York DZ takeover, or a new raid? And again, it's just, I just wanted people's thoughts. I wanted people to reach out and say this, that, or the other. This is what we want to see for the game. Um, me, personally, I feel it would be an expansion. I just can't see past that. But again... Look what's happened the last 12 months with the seasons. The seasons has created initially what I felt would be an, a really good kick-ass 12 months. However, we know that has not been the case. It has been a very lackluster 12 months in terms of content. And it does feel like filler. It does. It's like when you listen to a, a, an album where there's four singles have been released that are top 10 hit singles. But the other tracks are quite just boring, quite Again, filler. That's it. And that's what seasons have been for me and for most in this community. Now, survival is another thing that I'd love to see survival. I wasn't the biggest fan of survival, but I know it it holds a place very dear many people's hearts because survival was a fantastic single player solo experience. And again, with the division, especially the first one, people that played skill builds and that love that kind of content, they did thrive whilst doing survival so survival again i'd like to see a dc iteration of survival guys you know it's time you need to bring it out a new york dz takeover now we all know guys pvp within the division 2 is not amazing it never has been amazing um, it has gone through very very many semblance balance patches which haven't really got there and it's still again in my opinion not where it needs to be what do they need to do? There needs to be some PvP focus. And with the Red Storm interaction, and again with Red Storm being more involved now, there could be more PvP balance patches moving forward. And hopefully, again, to get my ass back in PvP in conflict and the DZ, I'd like to see some changes. I don't see the point of free DZs. I will not never ever get my head around free DZs. It is preposterous. Make one DZ. That's enough. Think of Division 1. That was amazing. For me, Div 1. PvP DZ was great and the area was fantastic. Build upon that. I'd like to see, again, I would genuinely like to see New York DZ. I would love that. I think I'd even get my ass back into PvP to see how good that can be. Now, not to mention, guys, not to mention, you'll have free DZs back in Washington DC. Let's convert them to new plane areas. Let's have new mechanics. Let's get something new in there. Survival, maybe, underground or something esque. To really drive people back playing repetitive, replayable content. Because the Summit, guys, the Summit for me is not that replayable content. New Raid. Okay, 2% of people think that, you know, there could be a new Raid or they'd like to see a new Raid. But for me, I really, really don't know. I can look at the effort and the hard work they've put in for the previous two Raids. Will they do another one? I don't know, guys. To be honest, I doubt it very, very much. I think more so Division 3, that's where we're looking. 
Now, I've had many, very many people reach out regarding this. I'm going to pick one of these in particular, and that is Huku Game. New raid, new DLC would be nice. But I think it would be just more seasonal content. New exotics, new items, apparels, etc. And never, they never intended the game to get updates past TU12. So I doubt they have been spending any serious time with the new content since Summit. Honestly, don't see them investing any more time over the new seasons. Prove me wrong, Massive. Man, I can only echo how you feel. I feel exact the same. Now... I'm a bit disappointed with the way it has ended TU12. I'd like to see something. Again, there has to be like a, a, a credit scene after that really gets me hooked to say, this is going to be great. I'm looking forward to A, new season, B, new expansion, or, or, or three, C, whatever, new game, Division 3. That's what I wanted. That's what I really, really anticipated from the end of Fail Out. But, but guys, we know we've got nothing zero nada and that's the thing that has disappointed so so many people so that's highly frustrating i think we'll get a new expansion i genuinely do there has to be something they're gonna deliver because guys i do feel that after we're getting another year of seasons and then we're leading to the division three i feel a lot of people will leave this game and that's not what the developers want and <laughs> god the community they will move on we have outriders out in the space of six weeks if they nail it, then I guarantee people would, would leave the division for Outriders. They really need to get their ass in gear. Now, in terms of content, you've probably seen, I'm doing builds. I'm doing a lot of builds. I'm having fun creating builds yet again. So you'll see plenty more builds from me. So don't worry about that. I've been asked the question. You're still doing builds. You're coming back to the game. I'm still playing the game. I've never left the game. So with that being said, some of these comments that really kind of inspire me to carry on the good gripe and the comments like this and this was on my last video from super evil monkey damn and here i was just muttering oh galvanize bet that would be interesting with the scorpio and you saved me the hard work awesome stuff and thanks for showing them a talent we might not use keeps the game fresh and that's exactly what i've been trying to do is keep the game fresh because guys there's so many different builds you can put together with talents that you'd never think you'd use i mean in a nutshell, I, I have seen so many build videos and you, you click to the build and you go, whatever. It's boring. It's the same thing. It's the same build time and time again. Glass cannon on chest piece. Tech support on backpack or combined arms or kinetic momentum on the chest piece. There has to be that variety that really inspires people to walk away and think, look at this. He's using two different talents and they synergize. They work. And it's something that's completely off meta. And that's what I enjoy seeing from content creators and the public is using different kinds of builds. So enjoy your content. Get the most out of the game possible. Not doing it as quickly as possible because, guys, come on. It's all about having fun. And that's what the game needs to deliver as we're in the twilight years of The Division 2. So, of course, guys, let me know if you've enjoyed this episode with the community. I'm excited for the future. With that being said, I am very apprehensive at the same time. I'm hoping expansion drops. I'm hoping, guys, they litter us with content. I want surprises. I want a shitload of surprises. And hopefully, guys, hopefully that they actually deliver this time. But peeps, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.